Yeah, what's up you guys? This is Godson and we're back to take another look into Supercell's newest update, Clan Wars for Clash of Clans. So you guys, in the previous video, I went over matchmaking and how exactly that system works. Now I did notice there was a bunch of questions in the comment box, so I'm going to wait until I've released all the videos and then go through all the questions, the best ones you, you guys have, and try to give more elaborate answers for you and your concerns. So you guys, let's jump into this. I'm going to be going over the new loot system and the upgrade to the clan castle, level 6. So let's start with the loot system. Now depending on how well you attack the other bases and how much the player's base is worth will determine how much you bring in from the actual war. And of course this is a team effort. Clan Wars basically is putting all your clan members into one game type so that you guys are working together and that's exactly how the loot system works. All the clan members inside your clan will be fighting together and gathering loot to be accumulated into one total amount. So basically what that means is whatever loot you get from attacking another player will be put together with your clan mates into one total amount so everyone gets that same amount after the war is over. Now that is affected if you win or not. Let's say if you win then you get the amount everyone has attacked and has added up in the total amount. If you lose you only get a small percentage of what you got from the war. So definitely winning has advantages. So what is the max amount you can get from a clan war? Well this is a little bit difficult because uh, the bank or sorry the clan castle you get when you upgrade to level 6 can only hold 1.5 million gold and elixir and 5,000 dark elixir. So this is just my speculation, but even if you make more in the actual uh, war, your bank will only be able to hold 1.5 million. Sorry, I keep saying bank and clan castle is the same thing now. Uh, your clan castle does serve as a bank. So let's talk about how this affects your uh, storages and your pumps in contrast to the clan castle being able to hold resources now. Well, whatever you make outside of clan wars will go normally how it should be to the storages uh, that you've had and that you've upgraded. Your clan castle will serve as a bank for whatever resources you get from clan wars. And yes, people can raid your clan castle and get the um, resources from that, but Supercell did tell me that only a small amount enemies will be able to take from your clan castle because it's not like uh, it's not like a storage. Your clan castle is something that is more for defense so they won't be able to pull a lot from your clan castle so just to reiterate everything the amount you get from clan wars depends on the player that you're attacking so let's say if you're fighting a player that's actually really strong well you're gonna the loot is gonna go up higher and someone that's weaker the loot will go lower it doesn't really depend on how much they actually have in their base and that's actually something else we can bring up. The resources you get from the player isn't something you're stealing from their base. Those resources are actually generated dependent on how strong the player's base is. So you could go back to your normal base and find that nothing was stolen. Your same amount is there and don't worry. Uh, your shield is still there. Everything is normal like how it would be uh, because you're on a base that has been created for war. It's not your actual base. Is just a replica and very quickly just to answer some of these questions uh, if you're upgrading a weapon and you go to war with it then it'll go to the lower level it was before the war started but I'll go more into detail in a later video about uh, how the war base and everything is set up so back to clan castle level 6 level 6 clan castles are I believe 7 million to upgrade and they will come with a 35 troop capacity and of course the hit points will also increase as well I haven't really thought about what other troops we would get to fill up a 35 space right now the golem is 30 spaces so I mean it would be nice to have a golem and maybe a wizard or something else to go with the golem inside the level 6 clan castle and that's open for discussion in perhaps a later update if we're going to get something to fill up those 35 spaces now of course the level 5 clan castle will be reduced in cost so it won't cost as much anymore and the max amount of loot you get will also be lower than level 6 of course so let's talk about donations and how they affect the clan wars itself. Uh, let's say if you're joining a clan war, you will have a tab inside the map 
that lets your clan donate to you for clan wars. So just in case you're worried, if you're in chat and someone asks for a donation and you d donate to them, then that is only affected outside of clan wars because there's a separate donation button once you're in clan wars for your teammates to put troops inside there. So you don't have to worry if you go to battle and you use your clan castle uh, part of a raid, then your troops aren't affected that are inside your clan war uh, deposit. So you guys, I hope I answered everything according to the clan castle and the loot mechanism inside the clan wars itself and how it works. Don't forget, Supercell also added a one gym boost as well with the maintenance break we just got, so take advantage of that. And you guys, I'll be sure to post more footage and more info about clan wars as it comes to me and as I'm doing these videos. So thank you again for watching. This is Godson. I will see you next time. Godson out.